MATLAB provides extensive support for 3D image processing. Apps in MATLAB make it easy to visualize, process, and analyze 3D image data. 3D image processing has applications in medical imaging, quality control, agricultural imaging, and many other areas. While 3D image segmentation can be performed using traditional techniques like clustering or active contours, in this example, we will see how to use deep learning for segmentation of brain tumors from medical images. This example can be found in the documentation. This is the workflow that we will follow. Let's start with loading and cleaning the data. The MRI dataset is publicly available and can be downloaded for free. We will perform some pre-processing to crop and normalize the 3D MRI images. These images are also referred to as volumes. We can use the label wall show function to preview a label training image. Because the tumor is inside the brain tissue, we will make some of the brain voxels transparent so that the tumor is visible. A voxel is the 3D equivalent of a pixel. The Volume Viewer app lets us explore the labeled volume across the different dimensions. 3D datasets are typically very large. So random patch extraction is used to avoid running out of memory. We will extract random patches from the ground truth images and the corresponding label data for training and validation. Next, we are going to build and train the neural network to perform the brain tumor segmentation. This example uses a 3D unit architecture because it requires fewer training images and provides more precise segmentation. We will first create the layers and then concatenate them. The deep network designer can also be used to design and visualize the network. We can also analyze the network to search for any errors. Training the network on the entire data set takes a long time. So for this video, I'm going to load the pre-trained network. We can see the network accuracy and loss through the training results. Now we will perform segmentation on the test images to check the performance of our network. The sample test data set has five images. We can see the predicted segmentation as compared to the ground truth segmentation. Here the dice similarity coefficient is used to measure the accuracy of the network which is 85% for the segmentation of brain tumors. Using deep learning for segmentation also allows for further classification. This example can be extended to identifying the different types of tumors. To learn more about 3D image processing in MATLAB, please see the links in the description below.